Hey there, my name is JD Lemon and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing an updated version on one of my older videos on how to do Discord rules using the Carlbot. First thing you should do is add the Carlbot using the link in the description or by going to carl.gg or by adding it from another server that you're already in. Next step is to set up a role menu, which is like I did previously in my other video. I'll set up a new one next to my old one just so that you can see the different kinds that you can set up. If you have Nitro, you can use those emojis. If you don't have Nitro, go ahead and just use regular Discord emojis and just make it however you want. Make sure you're putting this table in the actual role channel that you want to use. Now before we actually start doing the commands, I recommend going to the channel settings. Go to the permissions tab and scroll down until you see reactions. Make sure that add reactions has the green check mark on at everyone. Also, make sure to go to your server settings, go to the roles tab, and make sure that the Carlbot role is all the way at the top, even above the administrator and owner roles. Don't worry, it won't appear at the top of your server list. One more thing for Nitro users before we get started with commands. These emojis that you're using have to be in your server, but I'll show you how to get these into your own server using the Carlbot. The emoji that I used was from my other server, my main server. You can actually check that out down below in the description. Do exclamation mark steal and then that emoji. It should automatically add that emoji to your server. Now, once you've done that with all of them, we can go ahead and start the actual commands. If you do slash reaction, slash reaction will add should pop up at the top. You can go ahead and click on that. Now, this big message pops up. To fill this out, you need the message ID. If you don't know how to do this, I have a video on my channel that can show you how to get that. But if you do, right click that message, grab it, and put it in the message ID slot. Then grab your emoji and put it in the emote slot. Remember to make sure it's the one from your server. Then in the role slot, put the role that people are reacting to be able to get in that slot. Now, if I click on the reaction and I check my account, it should be there. Now go ahead and do this for everything on your role menu. Make sure to select the roles, test them, and make sure that they work. And if they do, then good job, you did it. I also wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is me. This is my shop called themalay.com. It consists of a bunch of my artwork and my friend Arwen's artwork, and we work together to make different merch so that we can raise money for our Minecraft server. It's not just for our Minecraft server, it's also for us, but we're planning that if we get enough sales, we can donate the money to different things like plant with a purpose or something that involves cleaning the environment and making the earth a better place. Please consider taking a look, and if you are a small content creator yourself, please reach out to me if you would be interested in an affiliate program. You'll be able to have your own merch on here like Ostaverse does, and you'll be able to get your own link made so that you can make money off of sales that you make with your link. And don't worry about your number you can have any size of a fan base, even one follower, and we will still accept you. But as always, thank you for today's sponsor, and thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye!